Okay, it's time for another rabbit update. Uh, I've had these guys for a week now. I got them a week ago yesterday, and now they're starting to get comfortable, and they're at home. Even the big guy, he's not hiding anymore. Uh, they're starting to get comfortable. They're starting to eat a lot. They were eating just a little bit at first, but now they're really eating. So they're starting to get comfortable. They come right up to the cage. They're not in the least bit scared. Uh, they've all got really good size to them. And uh, especially my, my pretty gray, he's just awesome. He or she, whichever one it is. But uh, their favorite thing, and I'm not cutting my grass back here. Their favorite thing in the world is this grass over here. I just I just pull a, a handful of this, uh, this grass and chuck it in there and they go nuts over it. They love this stuff. But uh, you'll notice I don't have uh, any uh, straw in the uh, in the hay cages up front. You can see I've, I've cut some slits in there for them to be able to reach it. I don't know if you can see it or not, some horizontal slits, but apparently they can't reach it too good. So I'm going to make those slits a little bit bigger. What I've been doing now is just getting a handful and chunking hay in there with it. Uh, and, you know, a lot falls through on the ground, but that's okay. I'm going to rake this out, and it'll be all the fertilizer anyway. And that's a little, just a little bit extra biomaterial for the uh the uh composting pile and for the plants but uh the rabbits are doing good what i'm trying to figure out now all right i've got six cages in here four of them are full so i only have two open cages and for my grow out cages i want them to be a little bit bigger than this right here so i'm thinking about building another 16 foot section like this one and just having two sections for grow out cages that way if i get multiple litters coming at the same time i can just combine litters of babies and throw them in there if they come you know at around the same date you know within a week or so of each other within a few days of each other um but what i'm thinking about doing is just leaving these guys here in these cages for the time being and going and getting some more wire and building a completely different cage and then transferring them into that uh but i'm just trying to find out the best spot or what i think would be the best spot like this area here is probably the shadiest area and it's, it's really it's pretty good and flat right here so i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna do it here or back over to this side where i originally had stated that i want to do it actually i may just do it right here in the middle the middle looks pretty good and it's got oh yeah it's got plenty of shade versus sticking them back there a little bit further because i want them up close where i can see them at night when i come out to check on them yeah so i think right around in here probably is where i'll put it up but right now my dilemma is because wood is so expensive is uh, doing the whole roofing thing and because these tarps are dirt cheap what i may do is just make me a little fenced in area with some hardware cloth and uh, leave the cages on the uh, cinder blocks for the time being and just uh, cover the area with those tarps until either one the price of lumber comes down to a reasonable price or two, I, uh, my backup plan is I think I'm going to try to get several dozen pallets and just use pallet wood and uh, basically, you know, build it for free other than the cost of the screws or nails and maybe some of those, uh, those uh, either tin or uh, composite roofing panels, you know, that come in like eight foot lengths, the, the uh, you know, the rippled roofing panels and just roof it with that. Uh, but that's where I sit right now on the rabbit update and the garden update. Uh, but I do think I'm going to go ahead and just build another cage uh, because a lot of you guys were asking for the video on the on the building of the cage. And if you're impatient and you don't want to wait, the site that I learned how to build this cage from, and I copied them almost identical, was uh, Sawyer Ridge Farms. S A W Y E R Ridge Farms. They have an, they're, they're an awesome couple, and they have an amazing rabbit cage build. Very easy to follow. Uh, Probably a whole lot better quality than my video is going to be, but I'm going to do a video anyway uh, because I'm building the cage. Uh, I don't have a high-speed camera, so I can't do the fast forward and slow motion and all that kind of stuff. It'll be more of a whole bunch of little videos, me explaining what I'm doing and showing the results as I do it. Uh, but I'll do the best I can for you. Uh, and that is it for the rabbit rabbitry update. Uh, so it'll be a work in progress. I'm going to go ahead and build two cages, get them set up, and then I'll have separate cages for my bucks to keep my bucks and does separate. So I'll probably end up with, uh, I don't know, I'm going to get creative uh, and, and see. Because I don't want to go too crazy on the does because I have rabbit meat coming out of my butt. But uh, I want to make sure I don't run out and I want to make sure I have enough to share 
with friends and family and enough to, to can a bunch and freeze a bunch. So uh, I will keep you guys posted and I'll update you as it goes. Thanks a lot.